it's Linda and Charles. With... Of fun-loving couples. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday at one o'clock. We made it today. Whew, that was close. <laughs> with not a moment to spare. Yes, we are um, enjoying the warmth in front of the fire because it's raining in Southern California, which and, it never does. And let's be real. In your Facebook Live videos, everyone needs an obligatory fireplace fire. It just makes it look that much better, right? We were going to play the music and, you know, put the lights down low. No, I'm just kidding. Some, some little cherubs flying around. <laughs> little chubby ones. <laughs> Anyhow, um, thank you for joining us today. We are going to be talking about something that we get questioned on a lot, which is our tattoos, our rings. Our rings. So... We figured we would do just a quick little Facebook Live about the reason behind it and why we did it and didn't really hurt if, if that was a question as well. Like We've heard that. <laughs> so I will let my handsome husband go first. Oh, I thought you were going to go first. Oh, you I can go, go first. first. Go ahead. Okay, so we, we have similar but different stories for the rings, um, but primarily because, I mean, it's it's... Permanent, right? Marriage is permanent. Being together is Supposed permanent. To be permanent. Right. So that was one of the reasons why we did it. Um, another is so mine. A lot of people think it's a butterfly, but it's not. It's the infinity symbol, and I don't want to. I don't want to put my wrong finger up here. I thought you were going to flip your finger off. <laughs> <laughs> the infinity symbol with two hearts on the end, and with red in the middle, you know, to represent the hearts. Um, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I think we went round and round trying to figure out what kind of rings that we wanted to have tattooed. You know, we went with the initials, we went with the date, you know, and then we wanted to do something unique um, for, e you know, for each of us. Uh, another reason why, at least I wanted to, we've been working out in gyms for a very, very long time. And um, when I, when we got married and when I had my ring put on my finger, it never came off, no matter what. Sleeping, swimming, showering, missing meat <laughs> for meatballs. Um, it always That's stayed gross. on. I know. So, um, but when we started going to the gym years ago, didn't feel good, you know, when you're lifting, hands swell, blah, blah, blah. So we used to go to the gym without our rings on and just felt so awkward. So I know a long time ago, I was like, we need to get tattoo rings. I know they have cool little gym rings now, but still different. But anyhow, that was another reason why, at least for me, that I thought I felt that it was important to, to have something representing that I had a ring on, even though I didn't, because like I said, I never took my wedding ring off ever. Well, I had no idea. See guys what you pick up when you pay attention? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So uh, I have a story as always, but I'll save you the boring two hour dissertation, which I'm so fond of saying to folks. So look, my ring is pretty simple, right? It's uh, it's big, it's black, it's not even perfect, it's it's just there. But to Linda's point, you know, I should stop and back up a little bit. The symbolism of a ring in a relationship is so powerful, right? It's it's typically uh, a circle or it's closed loop, meaning that it's uh, infinite and, and everlasting. always and everlasting and all that good stuff. And I get it, I really do get it. But I do think that uh, rings may have lost that traditional sense uh, and you know, let's be let's be serious. You know, later in your relationship, uh, the importance of a ring isn't a symbol for for Linda and I. It's for other folks to see, right? I mean, I've confessed my love. She's confessed her love. We know we got each other's back. She's my ride or die, and hopefully I'm hers. But da da. <laughs> so the ring really becomes a symbol. I think an outward symbol to other folks. But then there's also a time, and and you know, I guess we should tell them about the story. My ring was stolen uh, at a hotel, a very nice hotel in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, when my firstborn was just a baby, we passed out in the hotel lobby. I took my watch and ring off, and someone was bold enough to come up within a foot of me, take it, and run off. So for the longest time, we never had matching rings. Uh, and then fast forward, and I was in uh, uh, electrical construction for a while. And I also noticed a lot of guys would, you know, when we go out to the bar, because uh, that's where I was told I had to close my deals at, we go to a bar. Some guys would take their rings out and put it in their pocket. And that always confused me, but I came to realize later on what that really meant. So here's a couple of things. Again, my ring is, is big and it's black for a reason. I want everyone to see it. And for me, it's black because to me, marriage is black or white, right? There's no, uh, for me, there's just no other options. 
Um, and if you look at it long enough, you'll see that it's not perfect. It is distorted. It's got rough edges. It's got this going on. It's got that going on. A lot of ways you could say it's pretty ugly, but to me, the way I look at it is what marriage is perfect. So my ring should symbolize the fact that it's not perfect. Um, and you know, really that's, I just needed mine as a conversation starter. And here's the other thing. I have no intentions of ever being, uh, unfaithful, unloyal to my wife, but this is just another way to make sure that 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 doesn't that option doesn't pop up. That doesn't happen. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't I don't don't fantasize with any of those ideas. But I'm also aware of many other men that have come to my path that that may have had that same disposition or that same reasoning or whatever it is. But then ultimately something happened and caused it to not happen. So this is a reminder for me and a conversation starters for others. <laughs> Yeah, and, and we've even found that after so many years of marriage, people don't wear their rings anymore. And it also represents what's happening in their relationship. Um, so it's just something to be mindful of. Um, maybe have a conversation with your partner about it. Like, what, what is the importance of that ring? I'm not saying that everyone has to go out and get a tattoo like we did. Um, oh, but that could be an FLC field trip. Oh, Let's all get trip. tattoos. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, maybe it's a conversation because maybe your wife um, wears her ring all the time, but you don't. And maybe that bothers her. So I think it'd be a great conversation starter with, with the, each of you to see, you know, where you stand. I, I mean, I, I think that, you know, it's, um, that's just what, that's the tradition. The ring is a tradition. You, you get engaged, you get married, and... You know that's that's that symbol that's what um, we've all done right? yeah so um maybe have a conversation about it this weekend especially if you're in southern california and it's raining <laughs> who's going or, outside right yeah or you're you know on the east coast and it's snowing you have nothing else to do right <laughs> well anyway hey so look as we said before this is not the charles and linda show or even the linda and charles show but i'm fine get that uh, so we'd like to know, what are your thoughts on rings? Maybe you've got a completely different opinion, and I would love to hear it. The group would love to hear it, because I'm sure other folks out there have similar or counterpoints, and they're all valid. Let's just at least get out there and discuss it and talk about it. Yes. So if you've got your own idea for a, uh, for, for a topic, uh, let us know. You should be on Facebook Live. Or if you want us to talk about it, let us know. Uh, Linda is, has no loss of words for anything you want to talk about. <laughs> Anyhow, um, we will see you next Friday, 1 o'clock Pacific Time, Facebook Live. Yeah, and again, send us your comments, send us your ideas, your topics. Uh, we could even do screen share interviews with folks. Let's just have fun with it. Yes, and if anyone's chiming in or loving or liking or making comments, we actually have the phone turned around today. <laughs> So we don't see you, but we'll answer it if we, if we see anything on there. If you do Facebook Live, you know what that means. Yes. Anyway, until next time. Linda and Charles with FLC. Ciao.